Right, in this video, we're going to use our Casio FXCG50 to find the stationary points of this graph of y equals 4x to the 5 and so on. So we're going to try and find the local maximum, the stationary point of inflection, and the local minimum. So moving on to our calculator, I've already put in the value, and I'm just going to press draw. And notice it doesn't appear when I use the standard axes. And you see it doesn't appear on the graph. Now, if we go back to the graph, we see actually in the original question, we can see why it's not drawing, because the y value goes from minus 15 up to 1500 and down below minus 1500. So what we need to do is change our view window. So I'm going to change the max minimum we got in our question was just over three. And I think our maximum value is eight. Scale up and move down to the y value. So we want to about minus 1600. And we'll make it up to 1600. And we'll make the scale 500 and draw that. And we can see the whole of our graph on here. So let's find our maximum value. So we press graph solve, press maximum, and it finds the maximum value is x equals minus one when y equals 1,551. Press graph solve again, and we can find our minimum value. And that's where x equals 6, and y equals minus 536. So that's the maximum min. But unfortunately, that does not allow us to be able to find this stationary point of inflection. So we exit from there. And what we need to do is we need to go into options, and we need to go into calculus, and we need to differentiate this. So that I want to differentiate this function. So I'm going to tell it to differentiate y1. So y1 allows me to differentiate it. And I want it to be able to draw for every value of x. So I don't want to just work it out for one value. I'm going to make it for all values of x. So put x in there. Press execute and press draw. And now it's drawn the gradient function. Now what you should know is that all stationary points are where the gradient function equals 0. Notice this crosses here zero at the maximum and it crosses at the minimum it also touches at the stationary point of inflection so therefore on the red graph i want to find out where it crosses the axis where the roots are so press graph solve look up the roots and we move switch to the other graph the red graph press execute and we can see the first root is at x equals minus one where our maximum was move to the next one and we see the stationary point of inflection is where x equals two and just to check, we can look for where the minimum was. And we can see now it's found the minimum at x equals 6. And we, so therefore, we know our stationary point inflection is at x equals 2. And we can just put that back into this equation to find the y value at that point. So there we go. To find stationary point of inflection, put your equation in. Use the option button to find the calculus. Go to calculate press F1 for dy by dx, put in the y1 value, put x as x, and then you can draw it. And you can use the graph solve, find the root, find out the equation you want, and go and find any root that you need. And this is the one we want. And that tells us where the stationary point of inflection is.